your organization, uh, the Dream.us, you provide support for uh, undocumented uh, young people for college and career success. Is that broadly right? Am I getting it right? That's correct. And, and among the things you do is you provide scholarships to these undocumented students. Have I got that correct? That's right. And so college scholarships, just to be clear. Correct. Okay, gotcha. If any of the students to whom your organization has provided a college scholarship are currently part of the encampments on any of these college campuses, like the picture you see behind me, I'm sure we've all seen these videos. No, Senator. Um, no, none of none, nobody who to whom you provide scholarships are, are part of the encampments. I do not know. Oh, you don't know. Do you know if, if any of the students who, to whom you provided scholarships have a threatened, physically threatened Jewish students on on campus? I do not know. Here's why I'm asking. NBC News just reported, and I'm just going to quote now from the article: "Quote a Columbia undergraduate who provided only her initials." because she is an undocumented immigrant and fears deportation, said last week she spent hours a day in the encampment. This would be the illegal encampment that's in violation of the laws as well as campus policy. Spent hours a day in the encampment, I'm quoting still now, before university officials threatened to suspend those students. The article goes on, she joined this, uh, uh, this student, joined a supplies platoon. That's a subgroup formed by pro-Palestinian campus organizers End quote. And of course, we often don't know who these students are. They're concealing their identities. This is just from last night at George Washington University. These, the students in the encampment there projected onto various buildings, images of the United States flag being burned with the graphics, Gaza lights the spark that will set the empire ablaze. They projected the following, long live the student intifada, down with the settler state. That would be the state of Israel, I suppose. Columbia University students yelling at Jewish students. And I quote, Never forget October 7th. It will happen, not one more time, not five more times, not 10, not 100, not 1,000, but 10,000 times. The 7th of October is going to be every day for you. The 7th of October, this is to Jewish students, is going to be every day for you, end quote. I guess my question is, Ms. Pacheco, and for anybody else on the panel too, Shouldn't we be deporting these students? If we have undocumented students who are here unlawfully in the country who are violating the law, let's just be clear here now, this is a violation of the law, and if they're also deliberately inciting persecution of a person on account of their race, which, shouldn't we be deporting them? Does anybody think we shouldn't be? Sh shouldn't we be deporting these students who are here unlawfully? Ms. Pacheco? Senator, we expect a lot from our scholars and the scholars and the students that I know love this country, respect this country, and want to and, and enrich not only the campuses, but also this country. That's fantastic. And I hope and, and bet that none of the people that, that you sponsor are, are part of this. Uh, and I certainly hope that's the case. But I, I just wondered, is there anybody in the panel who thinks that we should not deport students who are here unlawfully, who are engaging in, in this activity? Shouldn't we be deporting these people? Does anybody want to defend it and say, no, we shouldn't? They should absolutely be here. I think it's indefensible. The record reflects there's total silence from the panel. You know, I also think we ought to cancel the student visas. And I've called for this. For those who are here from other countries with a visa, I think if they're part of this, we ought to be canceling their visas. And we ought to send a clear message. We should send a moral message that if you do that and you are here unlawfully, you should be deported. If you are here on a student visa, you ought to have your visa canceled. This is the United States of America. And we are not going to stand for it.